Before we begin, remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this with anyone who you think needs to hear this message. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can become a member, and you will get access to weekly Q&As and the exclusive Coffee Cast podcast, where we'll answer those questions. Now that we've had that out of the way, let's begin. There we go. Hello. Thank you. Muted myself. Good job. Oh, well, who cares? We're here. We're straight. Get used to it. <laughs> Bit bright, aren't we? Mm. Eh, this is not going to end well. Eh, that's better. How's everybody doing? Time for another TRP archive reading show. Oh, by the way, I am sorry because I had a new reading of the book of Pook planned for today. However, and this is a YouTube Studios thing app and my fault because I forgot, but I tried to change it in the app because it's for members only right now. And if you want to become a member, smash the uh, join button, get access to weekly Q&As and um, exclusive content to um, new content earlier. So what's that called again? Uh, early access to new content. That's what I'm trying to say. But I wanted to change that today to, um, well, it's 4 p.m. my time now. I wanted to change that to be released two hours ago. But it hasn't been released yet because I completely forgot to do it because of that app. Now, I'm not blaming the app. I should have just done it on the uh, laptop. But okay, I will be releasing that video after the show. So look forward to that. We'll get a new book of book reading. Okay. Um, speaking of reading, let's get into Uncle Vass. <laughs> I is here. Alex is here, everybody. Bow. How dare you not embrace his glory? How dare you, sir? And Baron is here, and Jiko is here. Good to see everybody. So I found this post by our Lord and Savior, not Rolo Tomasi, but Uncle Vass. <clears throat> Why not just get into it right away and be done with it? The hard road ahead, the burden of performance. Women are human beings. Men are human doings. Dr. Warren Farrell. Now, I always thought that quote belonged to Rolo, but apparently it didn't. But that's the age of the internet. Quotes are being mis... Um, miscredited to everybody here and there and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know if Warren Farrell even flipped this term, but there we go. Apparently it came from... Um, Women don't listen to what men have to say, one of his books. So, yeah, there we go. Men are here to do shit. Women are here to make more men. <laughs> Based Napoleon. Only he said it in French. Quote, approximate. I'll figure something out. Men. Everywhere. Men have plans. Women plan on men having a plan. So I know a woman, socially, who remarked to me and other pr others present once at a cocktail party that she enjoyed asking men what their plan was for a zombie apocalypse. They all have one, she said, and, I, and they love telling you about it. Everyone had a good chuckle. And then I said, you live in a state with natural disasters, right? Earthquakes, wildfires, mudslides, that sort of thing. To which she responded, yes. Well, and I bet you expect your husband to have a plan for you and the kids. If something like that happens where you live, right? Of course, she says. Well, that plan is going to be a lot like his zombie apocalypse plan, only with less shooting the shuffling dead in the head. She became a bit more thoughtful after that. Women's value is intrinsic. Men's value ex is extrinsic. Men do, women are. 
What is a woman expected to do? <laughs> be a CEO? <laughs> Maybe she can be, but what if she fails? Well, just don't do stupid, illegal shit and go to jail like Elizabeth Holmes is going to. Did she, though? Real quick. What happened to her? Elizabeth Holmes. Has she gone to jail? I, I don't think she has. Because she played the My Boyfriend is Evil. Founder seeks... I'm sorry I got distracted. But I want to know this. I don't know why I want to know. Wants a new trial because prosecution witness is acting remorseful. Oh, boy, you. Oh, oh. Oh, did you, poor, what you do? Did you do something bad? And now you have to face the consequences. Oh, poor, what you do? Poor, poor whammy. How dare you hold me responsible for the actions I committed? Oh, well, sucks to be you. <laughs> Whoa, hello, Billy. Hey, C is here as well. Hello, hello. And Billy, what's wrong, Billy? If I'm not allowed to be on Ryan's channel anymore, that's fine. But one of his viewers keeps trying to dox me. Well, that's a bit of a dick move, and I don't take Ryan for somebody who accepts that, or tolerates that, because doxing is like one of the cardinal sins of the internet. In all honesty, if somebody doxes you, like, that is over. You never talk to that person again. So, yeah. But... Take that up with Ryan, the uh, Canadian coach mullet in command. Tell him General Sixhead send his regards. Captain Sixhead. Um, where were we? Okay. Lizzie just preemptively had a kid because she's going to be spending the majority of the rest of her kid having years in prison. She also dropped the Steve Jobs impersonation and the frog-like voice and talks more like her, like a breathless young woman now. Ah, I'm so sad. My dog stepped on a bee. And <laughs> Ah, that's it. Women have kids or don't. They are hot or they're not. And if they are hot enough, they can simply bail on their own life and set up shop someone else uh, in someone else's. It's no mistake that attractive women often marry rich men. And then what? Squeeze out a couple of kids, maybe do some light housekeeping and cooking. Good for her. I listened to an interview with one of the authors of a book titled Smart Girls Marry Money, or similar. She is double IRC, some sort of high-achieving double Ivy League grad. Nobody cares. She told of visiting her hometown and meeting up with their girlfriends, who are basically the real housewives of Podunk. She expected them to be all impressed with her, and maybe they were. But they had all married men who could provide, so she related how so she yeah, so she related how they had lunch with wine and got hot stone massages and such. And she wound up thinking, wait. I'm supposed to be the smart one. These women have fun lives. Yeah, it's funny how that works, doesn't it? Like career over time. I, even Watson and I often look at each other, weirdly enough, where it's like every now and then we go to the local toy store and just, just look at the... Uh, the Legos they have available. And I look at it and I'm like, we're 32 years old. We're not married. We're not stuck to a girlfriend. And here we are looking at like huge, like the large exclusive Lego sets. And we could buy them all if we wanted to. And he just looks at me. He's like, isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing? Like, could you imagine being stuck to a woman who doesn't want to touch you with a kid who can't do anything, who's just costing you money. Now, his his opinion on kids is way worse than mine. Like, I wouldn't mind having kids and things like that, but I want to do it proper. But I know guys, and I know he uh, Uncle Vaz right now is talking from the female perspective here on, like, 
what could go wrong when you choose the wrong path. But I know plenty of guys who married out of desperation, who are like, I'm, I'm 25 years old. I need a girlfriend. I need to get married. I need to have a mortgage. Otherwise, I'm useless. And we stood there, just the two of us, just standing there looking at those boxes like, nobody's going to stop us. We can stay here as long as we want. I, yeah. Huh. Funny how that works. But oh well, like, who's the smart one? Who's the dumb one? I know plenty of guys who went to college and everything and are now completely miserable. And I mean, like, ugh, really miserable. Always thinks for sec to be when I hear his name. Yeah, I don't know if he... Like, we talked about it. He's like, yeah, I am not on the prowl enough to get a surgery done, was his argument. And it's not a bad argument. And he and I talked about this before. He's like, do you really think I would want to bang one? Okay, and this is his words, not mine. And I'm paraphrasing a bit. But I'll ask him again on the uh, coffee cast. Click the join button to become a member. Get access to it. But I'll ask him on that. But he once mentioned to me, he's like, do you really think I want to bang a modern woman raw? Like, who knows what she's carrying? It's like... So yeah, that that's a bit of his argument. And I'm sorry, but he's not wrong. It's a bit of a... It's a bit of a um, pessimistic view but i can't argue with it either kind of thing say like, huh it's a minor surgery by the way we'll do it again 10 out of 10 recommend five of five stars yeah i have been thinking about it but like i said um my problem is i would love to have kids i really do but it's like first of all with whom that's the number one question second of all where is the world going third I have my own, like, unconscious things where it's like, eh, like you, you learn from them, blah, 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 blah. But even, like, try to fix the first two first. This was Cappy's argument as well. Uh, because Cappy and I talked about this where it's like, yeah, Cappy, you know what? I'd like to have kids. And he just looks at me. He goes, with whom? Like, I have the data, boy. <laughs> it's like, well, Cappy's not wrong. Cappy is not wrong. Let's uh, go further with the article. Because we were talking about <laughs> the women. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to be the smart one. Okay. If you are a man, you had better have an education or a trade or learn how to be an entrepreneur or something. Because your good looks aren't going to bring you the cashola in. Never tell me the odds. Men need to show up, get on their grind, say, stay on their grind, and make themselves into something. That's why we teach you about self-improvement. And if you want to self-improve and you're having difficulty with that and you want to get some help with your training, fitness, and diet, I have a spot left for the monthly consultation. Now, how's that for a segue? Just saying. <laughs> hey, let me be. I'm proud of my trade. I am proud of my trade. <clears throat> Think about the last time you were on a team of guys. Maybe you were a team. Maybe you were in the military. Maybe you were on a sports team. I can't even remember this. I cannot remember the last time I was on an all-male team. Maybe, maybe at work-ish when I did a factory shift. Huh. Race, age, whatever drops out pretty quickly and it becomes about who brings what talent that they can contribute to the team. Men tend, with regard to other men, don't care about who they are. They care about skill and character. Exactly. But I, like, in schools, it was mostly, like, a majority girls. Sports, I never really was into team sports. I don't know why. I just never was. I like the individual sports more. 
a band I did with guys. So that's that adds up. I we really don't care like, how you look. We care about how you play. Unless you're a motley crew or something like that. <laughs> um yeah. They care if the other guy on the team can get their job done. And if they can be counted on, even under pressure. This is why men razz each other, particularly younger guys, to see how they handle adversity. That's where ball busting comes from. It's like, hey, can you take a beating? Can you take a verbal beating? I've had guys hit me up like, do you and Cappy hate each other? It's like, no. That's that's just male bonding right there. Like we're trying to one-up each other with with jokes. It's like that's how that works. But it's it's been a lost art. And weirdly enough, and I've had that too, where I just make a, a harm, harmless, harmless joke towards a female coworker and blah, blah, blah. And immediately it just goes in the wrong. Uh, it, it just goes wrong. I've had a couple of female coworkers who, who weren't that sensitive. They could take a joke and they could like throw a punch. That was amazing. They could. And then a couple of the guys were just pussies. Ba, 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 da, da, da. Years ago, I would play basketball on a city court. There was a thing back where black guys, and it was mostly black guys, wouldn't bother to guard the white guys until you showed you could play. I saw this and positioned myself near the hoop on the baseline, calling for the ball with my right hand away from the traffic in the key. Our point guard lobbed me the ball, but it sailed way over my head and out of bounds. As I turned to jog court, he hit his chest and said, yo, my bad. I replied, what are you doing, shaving points? He laughed as I did some other guys. He had accepted responsibility, and I had let him off the hook. I had never met the guy before that day, but that moment... We became teammates. I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. You've heard men say this. You may even have said it yourself after a setback. You may not have any idea what you're going to do. Just that you will figure something out. This statement is the, is the first step in fighting back against adversity. And other men will recognize this and respect it. It is the first step of every comeback story. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I wanted my online business. Like, what are you going to do? Do I look like a guy with a plan? I usually just do things. I really just do things. Like, I'm going to narrate audiobooks. Oh, but how are you going to do that? And blah, blah, blah. In all honesty, I did ask for the help of Donovan Sharp, and he told me, just download Audacity. Get a mic. Get audacity, and with that, you can narrate. It's like, oh, okay. Hmm? Credit to John for Modern Life Dating as well. He put me onto it. He's like, have you ever thought of narrating? I'm like, huh? It's like, you have the voice for it. Oh, my God. Well, thank you. <sighs> you need to learn to, fa to face adversity and be resilient. If you get knocked down seven times, you better get back up eight times. If you fail, nobody is going to feel sorry for you. Society does not have empathy for men. No, no, they don't. Succeed and you can be a hero. Fail and you didn't have the right stuff. Fire is the test of steel. And adversity is the test of strong men. The man on the top of the mountain didn't fall there. Exactly. Yours is the hard road. The difficult road. It will seem that all the world is against you, but hard roads often lead to beautiful places. I tip my hats to Zig Ziglar. Don't worry, younglings. You will get used to it, and you will come to savor it. I would much rather rely on myself than someone else. That is just, that statement is not regarded in high enough, like, value or whatever you want to but 
if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. Just do it yourself right away because if you have to keep waiting for others, it's just like, oh. the, and Cappy said this as well. At a certain point, you're you're working in or at a certain speed and you just go, boom, like, let's go. Do it, finish it, done. Well, meanwhile, when you wait on others, it just takes so long. This just takes like so long. Uh, or it's not exactly how you wanted it to be, or it differs from the whole complete image you had of it. And no, just do it yourself. Uh, where were we? There were we. I would much rather rely on myself than someone else. I know me. They could be a fucking loser. I'd rather bet on me. There is no person I trust more than myself. And I mean that. Watson is a very close second, but I mean very close second, but I really don't trust anybody more than I, where it's like, when I set my sight on things, I know it's going to happen. But it's like, no, 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 give it time. I know what I'm doing. Like, I know me kind of thing. Here we go. The future isn't female. Neither is the force, by the way. No disrespect to the ladies here, but when Hillary Clinton announced through that grinning rictus of a mouth that the future is female, I laughed out loud. So long as the burden of performance is male, the future is male also. Wherever there is a dirty, dangerous job to be done, there is a man doing it. The feministas, in using that language, have said the quiet part out loud. To the feministas, feminism isn't F is M, female is male. It's meant to be female higher than larger than male. They don't understand power, other than in male terms. Hat tip to whisper. Ooh, if that is a shorter one, we're doing that too. They don't know how to create it. Thus, oh yeah, that, ooh, that's a good one. Thus, they tell us that, men, you have to give up some of your power so we can be equal. Not how it works. If we were really equal, shouldn't they know how to make their own power? Of course, but they don't. So instead, they tell us we are strong and independent. Now, men, solve all of our problems. Look, I am not shitting on anybody here because she was there. Kickboxing class, there was a woman there. And she was a bit of like that this butch lesbian kind of look. And uh, my K-boxing instructor was like, he was very pleasant. He was very welcoming. Like, yeah, yeah, good to have you here. And she's like, yeah, yeah, you could use some more women here. And Watson and I looked at each other like, here we go. Here we go. And within the first 15 minutes, she was already out of breath. It's like... Uh, I, yeah, it's like, because just by her look alone, you knew she was a huge advocate for the whole men and women are equal, blah, 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 blah. It's like, no, it's like, how can you even believe that when you're not even physically within, you're not physically close even. And this is my whole problem with the whole equality shtick where, and this, this goes for this. This is not me saying, uh, held the women accountable, but it's more a thing of look, honey. And even guys, this goes for guys as well. You don't even know what you're saying. You really don't know what you, I want to be equal to men. Equal in what? Like, equal in what? Do you know how large of a concept that even is? I want to be equal to men. Men aren't even equal to each other. We aren't even equal to each other. It's like, what? Have you seen the pay gap between men 
Have you seen the sexual selectivity between men? Have you seen the job opportunities between men? It's like, honey, what man do you want to be equal with? And in what sense? I want to earn just as much as men do. Which man? For what? It's like, and it's even with men. Oh, I want equality. Of what? Of what? What if, and I think respect is up there as well. Respect is up there as well. With one of the most common misunderstood terms in the English language. Like respect as well. I want to be treated with respect. No, honey. Dear. Lass. You want to re be treated with decency. That is something else. You want to be treated as a human being. That has nothing to do with respect. I can't even properly explain respect. The example I usually use is like my kickbox instructor. Like, I never known the man, but you see him and you instantly know this guy can lay waste to everything that moves within a 500 mile radius. Not literally, figuratively, but it's like instant respect. Whatever you say, I do. And respect has more to do, I think, with a measurement of abilities, capabilities, and achievements. And when I hear like the average Joe say it, be it man or woman, where it's like, respect for what? For just being? Yeah, but you, you haven't done anything with it. So that doesn't earn respect. It's, it's not how that works. No, I think what a lot of people get skewed is they mix respect with decency. There's the difference. Like, who doesn't want to be treated with decency? I, I'm not even always treated with decency. I mean, have you seen the hair? I'm kind of asking for it. <laughs> That's my little rant on uh, decency and respect. Mm. Oh, yeah. The patriarchy exists and will continue to exist. And its bigger allies will be the feminine women. Why? Nobody loves themselves some patriarchy as much as attractive feminine women. Because women benefit from the patriarchy more than anyone. Why? Because the sun of the patriarchy shines on all. In male hierarchies, everyone, high and low, has a place. Mm, there can be something like a tyrannical competence hierarchy. But I get what he's saying. In female hierarchies, not so. The weapon of choice in female hierarchies is exclusion and ostracism. Yeah. In terms borrowed from H.J. Wells, they are the Eloy. We are the Murlocs. Now, I will be 100% honest here. You guys know I'm a geek. But I didn't get that reference. Murlocs. I'm sorry. My Uncle Vass is now like seething with anger. Who is this young lad trying to read my post and not even knowing a reference to one of the greatest shows ever made? God damn it. New generation sucks. <laughs> Takeaways. Take responsibility for yourself. Exactly. Adversity will shape you and make you stronger or will break you. Building your own strength is the path to self-reliance. That man on the top of the mountain, he didn't fucking fall there. Further reading. Okay. Uh, I saw a Whisper post too. Oh, this is everything by Whisper. Oh, wow. Oh, damn, Whisper has a lot. Uh-oh. He started posting in 2011? Uh-oh. Well, I guess I know what we're going to do. 
Was there another post I wanted to do? Oh, how long is this? Oh, this one isn't long either. Yeah, guys, I have one more post. I have one more post. The Time Machine. H.G. Wells, The Time Machine. Oh, wow. There's a good reference to that book in uh, Better Call Saul. You guys seen that? Go away. Have you guys seen uh, Better Call Saul? Um, before we start the new post, which I found and I really enjoy, would you be so kind to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and if you want to support the channel and become a member, click the join button right here. Get access to weekly Q&As and the exclusive Coffee Cash podcast. If you're interested in getting your fitness and strength training in order, here we go. I have a consultation service. I have been a personal trainer. Credited? Is that the word I'm looking for? Accredited? I have my certificate and other things. And... Uh, experience in personal training and i've been training a couple of guys chico is in there alex is in there as well i've been training a couple of guys for a couple of months now uh, i have a spot left if you're interested in that personalized training schedule diet plan weekly checkups form checks and a monthly group consultation so yeah go check that out um red pill narrations are here, Approach It Like Chad, Text Game Mastery, and Approach It, yeah, Approach It Like Chad and Text Game Mastery. Get over here. Uh, Truth the Mug, of course, oh, God damn it, I did something wrong. Truth Mug, of course, which I don't have on me. And Carl from Black Label Logic, the Genderonomics audiobook, part one and two. So that was uh, the house cleaning for today. Du, 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 du. Where is that post? I want to have that post. Post, post, post. Uh, which one is it? Uh, yeah, there we go. We're going to do another one. <laughs> Where are you? Here we go. Ah, Donald J. DeMarco, late to the game. Well, lucky for you, we're just getting into a new post. And after that, we're wrapping up. Coffee. And this goes back to something Rob and I even stated during Red Evening. So before we begin, smash the like button. Here we go. The 10-point scale doesn't matter. Men have a binary scale. One and zero. Would bang, would not bang. Enough said. Women have a three-point scale. Nine, five, and one. Nine is a guy she's actively attracted to and wants to shag or is actively fucking already. Five is a guy who doesn't want... Oh, five is a guy she doesn't want to fuck, but there isn't anything wrong with him, i.e. average guy. One is the guy from whom she recoils in horror. Most of us are fives. The same guy can be all three to three different women. It's all, it's all subjective. A young friend of mine whose game at a music festival was basically walk around with his shirt off. I want to do that. Is a genuine Chad. But some smallish percentage of women think he's average. Of course, women will often reject, if given the chance, a man who is clearly way above her in SMV, sexual market value, because she realizes she's just going to be a pump and dump, pretty people problems, one imagines. Um, oh, we need to bring back first chat problems. Some months ago, I had a guy direct message me links to his photos to tell him what he, uh, what he rated. Like I would know. Girls would sometimes send me the same back before we were quarantined. They also, for some reason, assumed I was Canadian. Although I don't know why. Ew. Why would you assume anybody is Canadian? Ugh. Like they have mullets. Things like that. It's like, ew. Pink shirts. Weird. 
I think they play in Hawaii 5.0 or something. It's not even a Canadian show, but whoever. Uh, anyway, since I'm a guy, I handed my phone to whatever girl I was with and said, and she said, he's a five, but he could be a six if he fixed his hair. That last part was her way of being kind, but he's a five meant there's nothing wrong with him, but I don't want to bang him. Here's the trick, though, if you are a nine to a girl, she assumes you are a nine to pretty much every other girl. The girl known as o OLTR2, which is long-term relationship, is that other long-term relationship? In my tales was hot like the inside of the sun hot, but who had fallen from the devastating vast charm once at missions, at mission me to be careful, which loosely translates from womanese meant please don't cheat on me if one of us had the immediate capability to cheat it was clearly the 511 dream girl with the athletic model body who gets off her dick 25 times a day and an ass that looks like it was manufactured in an underground laboratory in switzerland by my favorite jewish doctor dr feintush <laughs> oh, fast. Never change. Her, I don't want other men. I want you and you got me. So there are a million other pretty girls out there you could get. One imagined. This is true, by the way. This is so weird. Like my my former my former girlfriends. Oh, that's even worse. You're French Canadian. <laughs> Joking, joking, Donald. But um, I, my last LTR, I, if, if, like, if you want to talk genuine desire, that was one. But she was like, are there pretty girls in the gym you go to? Yeah, sometimes. She's like, do they stare at you? I'm like, maybe. I like, hmm. like, she saw... Um, indicators of interest even before I saw them or when the cash register girl like smiled at me a little too much she just put her hand around my arm things like that Like, and um, when I started my uh, when I started college she was even like are there hot chicks in your classes hmm? are they and not in the the controlling manner she actually brought it funny but there was this slight hint of jealousy or uh scared that i would do anything i mean back then i wouldn't have now that's a different story depending on the situation um one imagines that this is a form of gender blindness they think that in another form of gender blindness we give an actual shit about their education work as if that somehow matters as opposed to the level of hotness. Just like how we imagine that if we were hot chicks, we would spend all our time at home lezzing out with other hot girls. Takeaways. Don't get it all twisted up with numbers and start playing a beautiful mind, the home game. Numbers are made up and the points count for nothing. Girls can suffer from gender blindness in a way that makes, makes them supplicate to dread. You got her, and you can therefore get a lot of hot women. I think that is a good post to finish off on. Boom. So yeah, that whole um, 9 to 10 scale or 1 to 10 scale is completely subjective. And I like Vass's take of like 1, 5, 9. It's not even 10. It's like a 9. Where it's like 5 is just the mid. Where it's like, yeah, you know, nothing wrong with him. But he's not doing it for me either. And that's where the whole have a look thing comes in. Because as you might know, all people from all different places have different faces and are into different things. 
Like, there is no be-all, end-all giga chat. There just isn't. Some girls like jocks, some girls don't, blah, blah, blah. Are there overarching characteristics or physical cues like the jawline and the tallness? <sighs> yes, there are. Although the tallness, I would beg to disagree. I would be willing to argue the tallness in all of that. I would definitely be willing to argue that the six foot thing isn't true. And I am going to get a lot of hate for this. But I would like to point out to you something that our dearly beloved, God bless his soul, Canadian coach Ryan said, where women are terrible at optics. I mean, it's just a thing. It's just a like men's brain and women's brain work different. Where even his old lady thought he was six foot just because he was taller. It's like, I truly believe that the whole six foot thing has been taken so much out of proportion and just an abstract number. Nothing more. Now, the six pack abs, I'm kind of like, yeah. How often does one see them anyway? How often does one see them anyway? It's more the V taper that gets noticed most or the, the V shape where it's like your shoulders are broader than your hips. And I've seen guys whose hips were broader than their shoulders. That was just weird. That was just weird beyond proportion. But yeah, it's like, as long as you are taller than her, you are completely fine. But even then, it's like you can be tall. But I've seen plenty of tall guys suck. Like I've seen plenty of tall guys just suck. It's like, okay, you're tall, but you still suck. Like The tallness isn't the thing. They can be tall and ripped even. I've seen that. I have seen tall and ripped guys fumble the football. Straight into my lap. And yes, that happened. <laughs> it was funny. I had to do, I didn't have to do anything. I really didn't have to do anything. It's like I could just let him be and she'll come back. It's like, hmm, good. I like how this works. I have to lift a finger. But that is the art of the AMOG for you. One of my favorite new chapters in Rolo's new book. How is Rolo actually? Is maybe even doing well? I hope he's well. He's writing a new book. Has he retired? Has he withdrawn to Warcraft with the Greyhounds family? Who knows? I hope he's doing well. Maybe he's going to do a sixth book. Sixth. Sixth. One of those words. It's not as bad as fifth. Fifth. As a Dutch man. Your language is cultural appropriating me. But I'm rambling off again on useless topics. Let's see. It's a comparative thing of one of his surroundings. Yeah, exactly. Tallness just makes you more visible at first. Exactly. Just don't have a gut. Daniel's right. And if you want to get rid of your gut, and you need some help with that, here we go. The last one. Last one. I have a spot left in the monthly consultation course with personalized training schedules and a diet plan. Blah 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 blah. Look, if you want to help, if you want to get help losing weight, I'm your guy. I know what I'm doing. I know my shit. There we go. I can help you get rid of the gut. Three was the worst. As soon as you have the th, the r after that isn't a bad. It's still a bit of a rolling r, but three is way better than three. Instead of th, three. I need a short ad for that. I know. I want like one with the Godzilla and the machine gun as well. Maybe I'll hit up John. Like, John, who was your guy? <laughs> mm. But no, it's all voluntarily. Look, if you need help with anything fitness related, just hit me up there. In the meantime, thank you for being here for me um, reading some the Red Pill Archive stuff. I hope you liked it. 
we will be diving into uh, more of it. And especially since now I have in front of me the entire archive of Whisper. Holy shit. Four pages. Four pages long. So 200 posts. I have got my work cut out for me. Do the French Canadian Jack tree instead of three. De toi? Yeah, uh, de toi. Ka. Keep doing these. Love it. Well, thank you, Daniel. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I uh, I will. Um, really depends. I might do two a week of these. Or depending on if I have like a, a strength training diet related topic, I'll do that. And then the other one will definitely be this. So there's mo always one per week. Always one per week. Trois. Oh, deux, trois. oh yeah. What did I say? I don't even want to know what I said. <laughs> Toi? Oh, yeah, I said toi. Which is correct. Nah. Oh, well. Stupid languages. Nobody likes the French. Instead of Donald, except for Donald J. DeMarco. We like him. He's half British. He is saved. But okay, enough of my uh, horrible language things. Dankjewel. Tot ziens. Auf Wiedersehen. Dankeschön. Uh, merci. And I'll see you later the next time. Tot ziens. Bye.